Good afternoon, everyone. Happy New Year to everyone. Everyone who celebrates the New Year. If you don't celebrate the New Year, you just kind of continue forward in time. Um, yeah, it's been a been an interesting four months, not being on two wheels. Um, yeah, the uh, ZX6R ended up getting totaled. The um, I went down on the uh, on my right side, going into a you know going into a turn, right-handed turn. Went down the right side, and the well, I guess it's down here on the sport bike. Um, kind of bar went in, straight into the frame, dented it, immediate, total. Um, I've had a few people ask me why I didn't, you know, just buy it back from the insurance company and turn it into a track bike, which, you know, I could have easily done, and I would have done, but, um, I was actually looking to sell the bike to, um, help out with some other bills that I had going on, other financial financial happenings that I needed to take care of. Those got taken care of. Um, everything's straightened out with that. And yeah, I was, you know, just kinda of twiddling my thumbs, pulling out my hair bits by bits, ripping tears and clothes, uh, rocking in my chair back and forth. You know, you know, typical withdrawals from uh, not riding. <laughs> yeah, that's it was hell, and it was hell. Ask anyone who absolutely loves to ride, and then you know they can't ride. Ask them about that and how it feels not to be able to ride. It's shit. So, um, this is my my new whip. It's a 2009 KLX. 250 SF Supermoto status It um I bought it <laughs> Technically I bought it yesterday Um That's when I got it Got it yesterday evening after work Went down to the dealership, picked it up Rode it home Um I actually went out to Look at it Last week they didn't have it, so I had to ship it from California. Thank God this isn't the California model, as far as I can tell. I don't see any of the uh, emissions crap on it. So, so far, so good with that. Looks to be a uh, 49 state, which is the best state. Um, where was I going with this? Oh, yeah. Yeah, this is uh, my first vlog in four months since I actually made the one when I went down that was the last vlog that I did and yeah just got it yesterday right and around today cleaned the, cleaned the chain and junk because it, it wasn't done at the dealer which kind of kind of upsets me but yeah it's a chain Um, where was I going with this? Yeah, anyway. It's... So far, it's ridiculously fun. I'm, uh... Tooling around in this... Deserted... Well, basically, the dead end to the service station. And... Yeah, I'm screwing around. Breaking it in. Uh, practicing... Practicing how to ride this thing, because it definitely feels... Much more different than a uh, Super Sport. Uh, this thing is ridiculously agile. Um, it's ridiculously light. I can actually pick the damn thing up. Pivoting on a wheel, of course, or the kickstand itself. <laughs> I'm not that strong. I'm very much not that strong. I'm still recovering. Still recovering from my low side. I wasn't able to do anything physical, so I lost a lot of strength from that, and then... Um, now that I can do physical stuff, <laughs> I have no strength to it. You'll learn how to ride again, how to ride this first. It is a very different riding style 
Like, I don't even know where to sit on the seat. You know, I actually got my tank bag to fit on there. I thought that was pretty cool. Um, yeah, I don't know where to sit on this. You know what I mean? Last night, I, on my way home, I found myself sitting, like, here. I got so sitting here at one point in time because it felt more natural to me after riding the ZX6R. I was like, hey, you know, this feels better. Um, yeah, it, I'll find it. I'll find that spot. But, um, yeah, I'm really excited for this bike. Um, I actually liked it the first time I saw it. Tires, chassis lube, and something else, and some other inspection on the ZX6R after, um, I found some things that were wrong with it that needed to be fixed, and I really didn't care to do it. Nor did I have the time to do it. So I had the dealer do it, and then walked around the uh, showroom. This little guy was sitting outside, or one one looked exactly like it sitting outside. I said, hey, that's a pretty cool bike. I think I might uh, pick one up down the line to replace the uh, EX500, which I sold, by the way. In case you're wondering why I wasn't riding that. I sold it to um, sold it to a good friend when he needed uh, transportation. So anyway, that's out of, out of the picture. Um, I now have this my KLX 250 SF. Um, before anyone asks, yes, there is of course a massive difference in power between a 600 Super Sport and a a 250 single. Uh, dual sport with slicks but I don't know I've had it less than 24 hours and I plan to ride the shit out of it in the next uh, day <laughs> well I actually have a three-day weekend uh, this week this being the first day which I spent tooling around the bike looking at stuff learning how stuff works on it I'm looking uh, looking forward to riding Riding this thing as long and as hard and fast and everywhere I could possibly go with it. I mean, I've already got plans for a second set of wheels to get some uh, get some knobbies, or at the very least, 50-50s, and uh, take it out, take it out on some trails. Ooh, which reminds me, I need to go to the MVD to get the um, pamphlet slash information slash application for a. Um, off-highway vehicle uh, sticker for dual sports or recreational vehicles that can, you know, that are street legal. Um, get me one of those, hit up some trails, and uh, we'll go from there. All right, there's somebody running here, so I'm gonna. So, oh, they're walking now, so they can probably hear me. All right, sweet deal. Let's get some uh, get some more riding in. If the engine cool down enough, we will uh, get this going. All right, everyone, it's good to be back. I want to thank uh, thank everyone for the well wishes that have wished me well, and um, hope to be of some use to people for entertainment and information. Let's have some fun. It's whisper quiet. Love it. Except when you have the choke on. And it's like, Wah! Not as bad as the 500, though. When the choke was on, on the 500, it would just... You know, it's a 500 parallel twin, so, you know, pistons are doing this number. It would just vibrate the entire driveway. You, know, you could feel it in the house. It's like, jeez. Alright, enough of this nonsense. Let's ride.